Hey guys, today we're back with another grip review. And today on the channel we'll be reviewing the Custom Resin 1911 grips by Montana Weapon Works. Stay tuned for this one. <laughs> Alright guys, we're back. Once again, today we're going to be reviewing the custom grips by Montana Weapon Works. These are custom resin grips. Uh, his name for these was the Lava Resin. They are very beautiful. You can see right here, a very good close-up of them. These are going to be on my custom Dan Wesson Kodiak in 10 millimeter. We'll check it before we go on the review. It is empty, as you can see. Okay. The thing that's interesting about these uh, grips is that uh, they're actually very hard to uh, to make. These are made out of a uh, out of burr wood, maple burr wood that's been stabilized, and uh, there's a lot of custom work that goes into them. Every one of them he makes uh, custom by hand. We will take them off here in a second. I'll show you the inside of them. But uh, these are some very beautiful uh, grips, as you can see. The thing about these also that are interesting that you are about to see is that underneath each one of these grips, there is a custom number. So uh, each one of these grips are uh, custom. And he actually said that he could never make the exact same grip twice. So uh, whatever grip that you buy from him, it's gonna be the only grip that uh, is ever made for these if uh, are ever made like yours. So that's something interesting that you can always uh, say, but they always have, they have their number on the side of them. I think these are around 73, maybe. Take these off. If I can keep this from rolling off. There we go. All right. Actually, 71, right there it is. It also even has his uh, custom emblem in the back of it and the serial number 0071. As you can see, this is engraved in there. Very beautiful grips, even from the back, as you can see. Go ahead and put these back on. Just thought you all would think that would be uh, pretty interesting. And these, uh, he can even make them for ambidextrous uh, 1911s or uh, any kind of custom uh, cut to them or anything like that so that's always uh good for anybody else that has anything uh anything different i think that he can even make them for a uh, fastback 1911 kind of like the six hour ones that uh, was very popular a few years back i don't know if they still are or not though but um we'll get into a few uh good things to know real quick that he sent me to make sure i uh say and that you all would want to know uh, he, he makes most of his custom grips like these in various types of stabilized burr wood and resin. Occasionally he does a uh, set of pure hardwood like Coco Bolo. Burr wood comes in all types of maple, box elder, etc. It comes from growths on trees that form around some kind of irritation or wound in the tree. They have a swirly beautiful grain structure and pointed curving edges. And maple burr is substantially more sought after, after sought after and expensive than a regular piece of maple wood. Stabilization is a process in which you soak the wood in a pool of resin and pull a near total vacuum on it. All the air in the wood bubbles out of the grain and then you release the vacuum. The wood sucks in the resin and is submerged in. You then bake the wood in an oven and set the resin. The resin is an extremely hard and tough wood that won't scratch or wear easily, similar to a G10 type of toughness. From there, the pieces of live edge burl are placed in blocks and dyed with pigmented epoxy resin and then placed in a pressurized pot to squeeze any bubbles out while the resin cures. The result is a beautiful block of stabilized wood and epo a colored epoxy resin that I slice into scales and make grips out of. The texture of these grips is extremely aggressive and catering competition shooters or serious concealed carriers wanting the aggressive, the ultimate aggressive texture with beauty. And as you can tell, that's 100% the truth. It goes in like these lines through here, it fits into your hand. It, it, it grips into it, it like soaks into it, it feels like. And I mean, it, feel, it makes the gum feel like it's part of you. Uh, I intentionally eliminate sharp point stippling as many G10 type grips have and intentionally have cut have deeply cut 
curved lines into the design. The lemonade shaping on your hand and holster by pointed texture and instead have deep sharp curves that lock into your skin and your hands providing an extreme firm yet comfortable transaction to your skin. The texture also will not snag or wear clothing like some pointed G10 designs can. Um, I actually had that happen to me once, if y'all can believe that. I had a, uh, I'm trying to remember what 1911 I was carrying. I think it was a Valor, and there was a G10 type of grips on it whenever I first got it. And I remember uh, we were going on some long, uh, some long uh, trip, and whenever we got out, I actually had a hole in my shirt to where the grips had actually rubbed a hole in it from rubbing against the seat. So as he said, these right here will not rub a shirt, and it will not destroy a shirt, so that's interesting. Our grips are totally one of a kind, and I couldn't make two sets alike if I wanted to. There's unique serial number on the back and engraved with a Montana World, uh, Weapon Works logo on the back. Here's hoping you love for them. Here's hoping you love them for a lifetime. Thanks again, Joe. Well, I sure do appreciate him sending me these grips to review on my channel, and I'm sure you all will appreciate them too. As you can see, they're some of the most beautiful grips, and they and they set uh, these guns off. Uh, I actually had the front side on this one replaced yesterday, and the guy at the, at the store thought that they was mammoth uh, mammoth tooth grips whenever he first uh, looked at them. But I showed him what they was, and he was uh, very, very impressed in them. So, guys, I appreciate y'all viewing. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in space below, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. But thank you for viewing, and I will see you all in the next video.